Namaste, Namaskar, Vanakam, Sashrikal. And welcome back to Grow with the Jan family. I'm Anjali. And I'm Jayden. And today we're going to react to the story of the goddess Durga. Mm -hmm. Yes. So we asked for some festivals that were coming up, and we know mm -hmm. this is coming up soon, Durga Puja. And um, you guys sent us some links, and this one is about, like, the little bit of the history or mm -hmm. the background of it. So we are excited to learn some more about um, some of the wonderful festivals in India. So Durga Puja, major festival of Hinduism, traditionally held for 10 days in the month of September, October, the seventh month of the Hindu calendar, and particularly celebrated in Bengal, Assam, and other eastern Indian states. Durga Puja celebrates over the victory of the goddess, goddess mm -hmm. Durga over the demon king Mahishura, and it begins on the same day as Narai, Narati, mm -hmm. a nine-night festival celebrating the divine goddess. So, we will uh, start up this video mm -hmm. and see more what's about, right? Mm -hmm. Indian mythology is full of tales that inspire awe and wonder. The tale I am about to share is one such story. The story of Goddess Durga. Once upon a time, there was a tyrant called Mahishasur. He was part demon and part buffalo. Mahishasur meditated for thousands of years so he could please Lord Brahma and in return be blessed with immortality and power. After much penance, his plan worked. Lord Brahma came to him and said, I am very pleased with your devotion. Ask me any boon that you desire. Without batting an eyelid, the arrogant Mahishasur said, Lord, I don't want any man or god to be able to kill me. Brahma raised his hand in blessing and said, Tathastu, so be it, my child. A twinkle in Brahma's eyes gave away the fact that maybe Mahishasur had left a loophole while seeking his blessing. Time would tell. Armed with this boon, Mahishasur considered himself immortal as no man or God could lay hands on him. In his rage and pride, he practically destroyed the earth. The lands were soon covered in darkness and his massacres were widespread. Not only that, he chased away the gods out of heaven. Scared, the gods went running to Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva and narrated their misfortune. The lords Brahma, Vishnu and Shiva were hopping mad. They conferred for a moment and then they held each other and started to radiate a blinding light, a light never seen before. Out of this beautiful light was born the ten-armed goddess Durga, the embodiment of Adi Shakti. One by one, the gods approached her and gifted her a dazzling array of weapons. The mighty Sudarshan Chakra was given to her by Lord Vishnu. She got a Kamandal or pitcher from Lord Brahma. She got a quiver full of arrows from Lord Varuna, the god of the sea. Lord Yama, the god of death, gave her a powerful scepter. Lord Indra, a thunderbolt to rattle the earth. Lord Vishwakarma, a menacing axe. Kal or time gave her a sharp sword. Eravata, Indra's white elephant, gave goddess Durga a bell. Its noise helped her confuse the demons. Lord Shiva gave her a dangerous trident. The mighty Himalayas give goddess Durga a lion to ride upon. Armed with ten weapons, gifted to her by the gods, one for each arm, she looked ready to show Mahishasu who the boss was and went into battle with him. Durga 
battled Mahishasur for 10 whole days. On the 10th day, she managed to chop off his head with her trident. At last, the balance of life was restored. To celebrate this victory, we perform Durga Puja every year. Durga Puja is a 10-day carnival in Bengal. This day is also called the Shera and we celebrate Lord Ram killing Ravan too. That was a really cute story, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. To learn a little bit more about the festival. What was your mm -hmm. favorite part, Jaden? My favorite part was when she, like, grabbed her sword and put it in his neck. Oh, the, oh. Oh, the trident. Yeah. So the last one, the last mm -hmm. weapon she got was the trident, and that's the one she was able to kill him on the ninth day, right? Yeah. What was your favorite part about this? I just this? liked how he was, like, evil. So he just, like, prayed every day, and then he was like, okay, now I'm going to say, no man or woman, no man or God, God can kill me. But he didn't realize there can be women or goddesses. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. And he just assumed that he was immortal. So mm -hmm. he just kept going and, you know, trying to make the world yeah. his. So he wasn't a very nice person. Mm -hmm. So. But yeah, I did like that the story had, you know, a little bit of a twist to it, you know. He said, oh yeah, you want that as your, your wish is granted, but mm -hmm. there's a, a loophole in it. and There's so, always a twist. Yeah, and that it was a goddess. Um, so, mm -hmm. she's amazing. Mm -hmm. I like that, right? Mm -hmm. So, we're excited to watch some songs and maybe some... Uh, hopefully some images from the mm -hmm. festival yeah. but this was nice to learn a little bit about the background mm -hmm. first so hope you liked it and if you like this video don't forget to click that like button down below because the more you like it the more youtube shares our videos and don't forget to subscribe and join our wonderful family and we'll see you tomorrow, tomorrow. Bye. bye